hi everyone today is Thursday December 22nd 2016 my name is Brian McInerney I'm the hydrologist here at the National Weather Service Forecast Office and I did this briefing uh, with the help of Glenn Merrill who is a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service he imparted all sorts of good wisdom but in effect we've got another winter storm on the way so let's take a look and see what we've got here so I took this off on Thursday December 22nd at about 145 and the storm actually has two parts this is the main energy that's going to come in late Friday and into Saturday morning this part right here is actually moving in Utah and it's moistening up the lower levels so this low pressure is going to slowly move in to Utah and we're going to get significant snow this part was actually quite important because we're going to have moist lower levels of the atmosphere and we're actually getting snow down in southern Utah right now. Important to note, the high right here is not the dominant weather feature out by Hawaii. Uh, but this rotating feature here is bringing up moisture. So think of it as two parts, but the main part right here, especially with this red area where the jet is, is where we're going to get our moisture and our snow. So let's start with the northern Wasatch. And we'll take a look and see how much snow we're going to get with this. Snow totals are a foot to 20 inches, and these areas are Beaver Mountain, Snow Basin, Powder Mountain, and any of the backcountry areas in this area. Snow water equivalent 0.85 to 1.35. It's going to begin late Friday night, and it's going to end Sunday afternoon. So it's going to be a weekend storm moving all the way through as that low kind of sags through. Great snow intensity is Saturday morning, and then another wave is going to come through on Saturday night. We're going to get more uh, snow intensities during that time that are quite high. Peak snowfall rates at 1.5 inches per hour. Snow level at the onset is the valley floor, and it's going to end at the valley floor. And the snow densities are going to be decreasing, which is very different from the last storms we've had, where we had very heavy snow, rain below 8,000, big winds. This is nothing like that. This is your standard storm coming out of the Pacific Northwest and putting down snow that's going to slowly decrease in density. Winds are going to be high right out of the gate about 11 p.m. Friday out of the south southwest. We're going to see some wind loading during this time from the south southwest out of the front into the northern Wasatch area and then it's going to veer to the southwest northwest and then northwest as those winds decline during that time. When we slide down and look at the Wasatch front side, and this is the central area for the most part, what we're going to see here, and this is Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, and Solitude, are snow totals of 16 inches to 28 inches, over 2 feet in some areas. Snow water equivalent 1.75 to 2 inches. It's going to start Saturday morning. It's going to end Sunday evening. Greatest snow intensities Saturday afternoon through the night and again through the nighttime hours as that second wave comes through. Peak snowfall rates about an inch to two inches per hour. And we're going to see snow at the benches, roughly about 5,500 feet when it starts Saturday morning. And then it's as the low comes in, all that cold air from up near Alaska is going to bring it down to the valley floor. And the, and the snow densities will be decreasing during this time. Winds are about 60 miles an hour. Gusts sustained at 40 out of the south-southwest, out of the gate through 12 a.m. Saturday and then about 6 a.m. Saturday the winds are going to decline gusting about 45 sustained maybe about 25 and then you can see those winds veer around and the, the uh, speeds decline. When we look at the backside central Wasatch backside and there what we're looking at are the canyons Park City, um, Sundance and Deer Valley and this is a nice thing to see it's a cold storm they're going to bring about a foot of snow to 20 inches with snow water equivalents about 0.8 to 1.35. It's going to start Saturday morning and the storm is going to end Sunday evening. And these are the areas that were receiving less snow than the front side. So it's nice to see they're keeping pace. The greatest snow intensities will come in two parts, Saturday morning, Saturday night. Peak snowfall rates at about an inch to an inch and a half. Valley floors at the beginning and at the end and decreasing snow tra density trends which is really nice it's it's nice for the avalanche conditions 11 p.m. Friday winds will be up around maybe 55 mile an hour gusts with 30 mile an hour sustained and as those winds veer south southwest and then northwest the winds are going to decrease in this area when we slide over a little bit east 
and we look at the Uinta Range, and what we're looking at is the western part of the Uintas, a foot to 20 inches, 0.85 to 1.35 in water. It's going to start Saturday morning. It's going to end Sunday evening. Saturday afternoon will be the greatest snow intensities, and then we'll see it again during Saturday night. Peak snowfall rates about an inch to an inch and a half with snow level at the onset down to the valley floors and ending at the valley floors. Cold system all the way through at Windy Peak area. Snow densities will be decreasing. So avalanche really avalanche conditions will be quite nice. The extra load will change the conditions, but it's not like what we saw before with those other two storms with that crazy high density snow and wicked winds. Winds about 75 miles to start with, but then declining out of the south southwest starting at about 11 p.m. Friday and you can see they veer around just the way the storm moves through and uh, should be a very nice storm for this area. One thing to consider is our snowpack in Utah in addition to Jackson and that kind of swath of mountains has the best snow compared to median for the entire western US and that's a really nice thing to say right now compared to the five years we've had so you can find us on Facebook if you'd like some more information. You can tweet us. There's my email if you ever want to send me an email with somebody else you'd like to put on this list who may benefit. And then always, and I hit this hard, is the Utah Avalanche Center. Check out this website. They have all sorts of excellent information that will keep you safe, keep you happy so you don't really have to worry about where to go. And uh, check out that information. So there you have it. This is Brian McInerney. I'm a hydrologist with the Weather Service, and until the next storm, we'll go from there. Thanks for taking the time to listen. See ya.